Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for March 9th, 2024. So the keys for today are to be aware of your very intense, very fiery, and very passionate energies. And do not be afraid of them, nor should you let them just run wild, but let yourself harness this energy into focus. Focus your desire to get things done, to move things forward, to understand, and to create in a way that is healthy for you. This could be exercise, this can be self-improvement, this could be studying, this could be getting outside of your comfort zone and going for something that you were afraid of. Don't let it become something that you're being a bully or too rash or too harsh and not honoring what other people are or are not consenting to. I say this because we have the moon in Pisces and the moon in Pisces continues to invite us to dream, to consider and to create and to imagine. And we are right before the new moon in Pisces that's happening tomorrow. So this is the dark of the moon. And so emotions are really intense and we're all in one way or another acutely aware of what we need to be letting go as we are preparing for this new moon in Pisces that's going to be asking us to let go of our old dreams and channel ourselves into our new dreams. And so today there can kind of be like an irritation in the air. And so allow yourself to not be afraid of the irritation, right? Challenge yourself to learn how to communicate and keep going even when you're frustrated, especially since we have Mercury that's now entered into Aries. We'll be in Aries until May 15th. Mercury in Aries does not mince words, okay? Mercury in Aries is a straight shooter. This is an energy that Mars is ruling the tongue, so you have to be careful what you say. I'm not saying don't say the truth. I'm just saying be strategic with how you're speaking to yourself and with other people be mindful if you're becoming dogmatic be, mind, be mindful if you're being a bully and be mindful if other people are bullying you and then revert back to going to the fact that you have the right to decide what you do or do not engage with and if something isn't you know being collaborative and just kind of being too much in a nice way i can say that then keep it moving especially since we have a mars square uranus element and that's going to be in function for a while and so when mars squares uranus it's like this battle between wanting to go progressive and wanting security and so there's going to be this challenge of allowing yourself to create and cultivate patterns of security that are healing and progressive and not just dogmatic and you being a bully and so allow yourself to again get comfortable with the intensity of your emotions don't hide them don't deny them get to know yourself well enough that you can be the person who directs your energy in the way that you want we do also have the sun and sextile to Uranus today. So there is this opportunity that if you let yourself go a little bit further in a good way, that you're going to have a lot of growth. But also, if you go a little bit further in a not so good way, it's going to have some heavy consequences. Everything matters and all things matter, right? Small things can build up to big things, right? So be mindful of that. We do have the moon also in a semi-square to both Pluto and Chiron. And this is where you need to realize that your subconscious is part of the equation. It's not always something on the surface. So take a moment and think about, like, where is this coming from? Is this triggering a pain? Is this triggering something that I need to heal? Is this triggering a part of my subconscious? Is the universe shining a light on this so that I can grow and I can heal and I can deal? And with the sun in Pisces, the answer is yes. Now, we also have a sextile to Jupiter that can go either way. This can be really good. And the little things you do can have really great consequences. But again, also the little things that you do that aren't so great can also have big consequences. So seek moderation and sync focus, especially since we have the moon conjunct Saturn. So there is a heaviness in this energy. There's a heaviness about like, I need to bring form, function, and discipline. I need to be responsible for myself. And that's where you can take that really intense passion energy that's in the air and use it to your advantage. Remember, you can control you. You can consent for you. You can manifest for you. Your actions are for you. And if you can continue to do that focus and allow that self to grow, then you're going to have a lot of opportunity to connect. And yeah, will it lead to some disconnections? Yeah, but we're, that's okay. Don't stay someplace that doesn't allow you to be true to yourself. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow.